Okay, let's do a recap of uh, Manila Classico Round 2, the second meeting between San Mi Coffee and Inebra. And, and you know, a lot of Inebra fans were stunned that San Mi Coffee actually won. I think basing it on the disparities of win-loss mm-hmm. record, the fact that, you know, San Mi Coffee was coming off a terrible loss yeah. to Rain or Shine. Di na sila kinausap ni Coach Tim in that game. And then yung Inebra naman on a high because, you know, you coming off the mga dramatic wins and then, you know, Chapet and Greg, people talking about them. Uh, but to put this into context, I mean, I mean, how stunning was it that San Mi Coffee won over Hinebra? Actually, for me, I felt Hinebra were, was going to be in trouble because when you do that to a team coached by Coach Tim, you know he's going to find a way to get his guys fired up, especially after what happened to Rainer Shine. They were really embarrassed. He was pissed. And they really needed to win that game badly because they, they're in danger of missing the playoffs. And I don't know when the last time his team's weren't in the playoffs and you know I thought he did a really good job against Hinebra and on the other hand Hinebra's been playing really well they're obviously they were at the top of the league but you know they could have lost two games that Japet saved them with buzzer buzzer beating shots I mean they had some hard games it's not like they've really been blowing everybody out but still they are a much better team than San Mi Coffee which is why it's also not surprising for the fans of Hinebra to think they were going to win the game. Anyway, they always think they're going to win anyway. So. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I mean, I, you have to give credit to San Mikofi, Baroka, Pingris, all these. PJ, I mean, they, they really played well and they deserve to win. Uh, you had the best vantage point. You covered the game. You were there courtside. Um, you said mga na, 9-1-3-7 matchup. Right. Oh. When you do the math, dapat yung 9-1 ang manamalo. Dapat ano, lamang na lamang dapat si Hinebra. Ang dapat. problema, you got to qualify it na. It was the first time this season, I think, na kumpleto yung San Mikofi. Mm, uh, free from right. injury, everybody was there, everybody was healthy. And naka, nanggulat si Coach Tim nga, like you said. Yung PJ Simon James Yap starting lineup niya. Hinebra had Tenorio and Urbistondo on the other end. Mismatch na mismatch. Kaya Baragel hit the first three of the game and then with, it was all San Mig. Nanlamig talaga yung Hinebra, sobra. Para. <laughs> <laughs> They were down 18 in that first half. <laughs> no 10. No 10. No 10. No 10. No 10. No 10. Are you, are you surprised? No? Nagulat ka ba na itong Inebra, ano? Hindi na ka na nanlamig. Dapat may kasama gano'n, nanlamig. You know, we have guests in the studio. You guys know that, right? Yung mga special guest size studio. So, ano ba? Ikaw ba nagulat na itong Inebra? And you actually lost to San Miguel? You know what? No. Um... You know, San Ming, as bad as they have been this conference, they were bound for a win. I'm so disturbed. <laughs> 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 no, can be serious about it? Because there, there are Hinebra fans out there and they're not going because they can't believe that Tali Hinebra. No, no, no. Like I said, Itong San Mig was bound for a win. It was the terrible, yung terrible loss against Alaska, terrible loss against uh, Rain or Shine. They, they were bound for a win. They had four days break after that. And uh, hindi sila kinausap ni Coach Tim. Mm. Coach Tim was, you know, eating their heads off, isa-isa. So, I mean, you need to have results. And that's what they did. And I think he never didn't do anything wrong. It was just that nagulat sila na lumabas si PJ Simon out of the blue and totally, you know, shot the lights out the whole night. So, parang sila, na-shatter lang sila, siguro. And uh, may factor nga yung fatigue na medyo napagod si Japan and whatever. But, you know, it was really... A team effort for you know Sanming. They were bound for a win like that. They're bound for a win. Due for a win. Yeah. Due for a win. Sure, they, they wanted to bounce back. Pahiya sila sa inner shine. And naturally, as proud PBA players, gusto mo babawi ka. Okay. And coming from a championship, I mean, nakakahiya yung nangyari sa kanila, you know, the, the, the last weekend. So, bumawi lang yun. Okay. Uh, Doug, um, so nakalaban yun na yung Hinebra on Christmas yeah. Day. Um, they manhandled you guys. And so, <laughs> Boy, I'm just stating a fact, right? It wasn't yeah. that it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you mean they did it? Hindi ka nakasama sa state. I didn't know. I didn't know. Okay, ganun. Okay, so fine. He never won a close game over <laughs> on Christmas Day. Ano kayo winning my game? Wala ka sa sa June, Ma. Ah, okay. Wala ka sa June, Ma. Hindi mo, ayun na nga. Kaya may stake ka, walang red wine. Ang point ko, ang point ko, since the kalaban ni Doug, he had a very clear view yeah. of how strong Hinebra yeah, is. Now, talaga, dapat ba ang tingin natin sa, sa team na to, unbeatable? Or 
you know, this is a team that any other team in the PBA can beat on any given night. Uh, maybe not all the teams, but a lot of the top teams, yeah. I think uh, any any team there can actually beat Hinebra, but Hinebra's just been playing on a different level. When it comes to this Manila Classico, <clears throat> before the game started, I actually um, thought that San Miguel would win. Ah, yeah, okay. Why? Why are you your hunch? Mo? Well, um, San Mig, more often than not, they don't start out strong. They always end strong. And it's already towards the end of the Ellipse. And usually, San Mig starts to win their games towards this stretch. And uh, that's why I thought they would actually win. And they were due for a win, especially the way they lost. And Coach, Coach Tim wasn't co um, talking to them during the timeouts prior to that, that game. And, you know, the players responded. And they, they responded well. Okay, so just to recap, huh? uh, if you were surprised or not that Sammy Coffee actually won over Hinebra. Surprised or not? No. No? 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 No. No? no? Go. Ako? Surprised ka <laughs> <laughs> No, honestly, I, I wasn't surprised at all because uh, he never had to win two games with a buzzer beater. What, is, what does that mean? It means that he's not going to be a good one. And that's LA. Mm. He's worried about uh, them playing that way and relying on buzzer beating oh, shots. Mga yung come from behind. Diba? Yeah. Come from behind. That's what he's LA. He's worried about that yeah. fact that they got to pull off miracles. A glaring like that. statistic also is the rebounding. Um, yeah. Uh, they they lost by a big margin. I Grabe think it was 64 to 39. And like I said, um, coming into that Manila Classico, uh, into that Sunday, San Miguel was the worst team in rebounding in the PBA. First quarter, palang plus 15 sila sa rebounding. So you know their focus was there. Ibang yeah. class. So, so, sila bumawi talaga. So, again, congratulations, San Miguel Coffee, uh, winning over Hinebra. Well, for San Miguel Coffee fans, maybe it's the start of, uh, you know, yeah. of, of good things for your team and for Hinebra. Of course, uh, the job now is to try and bounce back.